Did they get you? Oh yeah, she shot me pretty good. Get back on the horse. I wish I had a big fab table. You know, big ones with all the little holes in it to use different fixtures and yeah. Yeah, you need that spoon. Welcome back. back. Welcome back to a Spoon in Austin vlog. Jimmy's still out. He is still taking care of baby. We're not going to talk anything about that. I want to leave that news for him to come back. It's cute. It's, it's cute. It's adorable. It's, We've got he's pictures. He's so cute. In the last video you guys saw, we worked on this car. We actually ended up cutting the rear quarters and revealing the trunk. I know is one of your favorite parts of this whole kit. Yeah, I can't wait to get mine. Um, I really want to get the pro car stuff. But once I jump into pro car stuff, I'm not stopping. I don't care what Jimmy has going on. He's gonna have to figure it out, because I'm not stopping. I want to finish up the fab work on the 34, the forgotten child that is now living on this lift. So yesterday, we started working on an exhaust. Got the mid pipe done. But then we kind of ran into a little roadblock. I've been running into this problem where I end up having to redo tailpipes. I still have to redo the tailpipe on the FC because the bumper is in a different location. I have to redo the tailpipe on the A6 because I'm not happy with the way it fits. And I don't want to have to redo that. I'm tired of redoing things. So in order for me to get the tailpipe section right, we have to reveal something that Jimmy's been hiding since he's got in the car. Why not a better time than to reveal some secrets that have been hiding in the back? And well, Jimmy, you know, you know, it's the same, right? You, you, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, so, sorry Jimmy. Not sorry. Not, uh, but I, not sorry. I, I need this in order to finish the exhaust. Jimmy actually went and bought a Altia kit. This is OEM option arrow for the Nissan R34. Austin, you know a little bit more about this. I tried to do a little bit of research so I didn't butcher this. I'm not the biggest Nissan kid. I'm more of a Toyota fanboy. Well, the Altia kit is an optional arrow from Nissan, but it wasn't actually made through Nissan. We have so many cars here that have body kits on them. We have Origin, Duraflex, Vertex, Style. We got the new 2F kit. We always talk about how fiberglass, if it fits good, like this car, fiberglass on that car fit amazingly well. You rarely get that. You rarely get that. That is a very rare occurrence. Nothing fits better than OEM plastic arrow. You gotta give it to Nissan. They're probably the number one company when it comes to OEM aero options. S13s, S14s, like the variations, cookies, so many variations to each car, it's insane. It doesn't stop at the S chassis, the R chassis also have it. Big thing that people do with the 34s, even if they aren't GTRs, is they'll put GTR style body kits on these cars. It feels a little weird. Might just be me. I don't know if you agree too. If I was to build my own GT or GTT, I'm going to GTR style just because I'm a GTR fanboy. I feel that. But, but I can own that. You can own that. I can own that. Some people don't want to own it and they feel wrong doing that. It, in my opinion, it feels weird to put a GTR body kit on a car that's not a GTR. I think Jimmy kind of felt the same. And so we were looking for some optional aero or like what kind of package we wanted to go with. I didn't know this existed until Jimmy bought it. To me, it was GT, GTT, or GTR. I had no idea what this was. I wouldn't say it's rare, but it's just not a common kit that's put on a lot of cars. Trust us. Trust the process. I think sick. It, it, it has a lot of the GTR features, but it's not a GTR. I, I love it. I'm a fan for it, and red is going to look amazing. In order for us to finish the exhaust, I needed to put the back bumper on. We had to put the rear bumper on, and so why not reveal the whole kit? I just throw it on. I'm sure we can just pop the front bumper on, pop the skirts on, pop the rear bumper on. Get a good, get a good idea of what it's going to look like. As Jimmy might say, some mid-build motivation. There's been a lot of mid-build motivation with this car. But that's okay. Here's some more. <laughs> Real quick, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support we got on the 80s drop with the RX-7 and the 8.6. 
we sold out within 24 hours and I took the weekend to try and align up some ducks and stars and other universes. We feel bad that we got so many emails of people who didn't get a chance to scoop it and we ordered a lot of merch so I am grateful that that many people wanted to support us. I've opened a pre-order that's going to be live until Thursday at 12.30 so you can pre-order the 86T or the RX-7T as well as anything else that is still available. So if you want to go and hop below Shop Jimmy O, this is your last chance to get anything from this 80s shop. Once it closes, I'm going to vault these designs for life. So hop below, shop Jimmy O, and thank you guys so much for all your support. Look what just came in the mail. This is a reminder to always hop below and shop Jimmy O. Looks like Link sent us a little memento for being the number one preferred Link dealer in North America. We're looking for RJ. I don't think he's there. I did hear the light in the bathroom. He might be taking a poo. Let's go crash that. I come bearing gift. You wanna crack the door? I got a gift for you. No. Come on. Report to my office. Report to my office. How's your poop? You know, it was great until I got interrupted. RJ, what congratulations. You know, for us being so outstanding. Check it out, open uh, it did up. Did you guys open my mail? Again, for the fourth year in a row, we're a top five link dealer in the US. Rumor has it, it's oh. real Shaworski. Let's see. Ooh, it's pointy this year. <laughs> I got the email the other day about it. Look at that. Look at this. Real Shaworski crystal. Oh, which way is which? Top Dealers Performance Award. We're fast and efficient. God damn. Let me put this. Hold on. Bring it over here. This is actually our fourth year as a top dealer, but we only get three awards because the first year we did so good and they didn't expect it. They didn't have awards yet. They literally made this because of us. Yeah, they made awards <laughs> because of how good we do. We're like, yo, we don't get no award for that. So uh, they're upping it every year. Shaworski Crystal. I like the gold link ECU joint. This was tough. I did like the ECUs. These are sick, but these are cooler. Maybe like a Shaworski, maybe a Shaworski ECU box. The clear one. <laughs> Blood diamond. <laughs> Your reminder right here to always hop below and shop Jimmy O. Let me grab my tea. I don't drink coffee, it's tea. Everybody want that everyone has medicine ball from Starbucks. It's, it's a tea. I don't drink coffee. I can't live without it, no, it's, it's glued to my hand. I was taking the back bumper off, and I heard the UPS guy, and I'm, a, I'm all giddy, because these are from my car. People were commenting, and we even talked about it the other day with Jimmy, about potentially working on my JZX, or making a video about Spoon Scar. We wanted to get some boxes checked this week. We couldn't really do much without what I'm hoping is in these boxes, so... Damn! Oh, there's a lot in here. <laughs> okay, okay, we, we can't show too much. We will we will do this next week. <laughs> Take my giddiness for it. All right, we'll open those boxes next week. Front bumper first. Yeah. Oh, all, all to your kit. It's OEM, so will it fit with the intercooler? Or are we gonna have to make some adjustments? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I cut the whole front of the car apart. I should. It looks like it just snaps into place. Theoretically, it should. Right. Damn. <laughs> literally. <laughs> right in the place. Yeah, I just like, I put bolts in all sides. Yeah, yeah, of course, we literally just laid it on there, but. How's it look from far? Uh, yeah. Like we said, nothing beats OEM arrow. In red, this is gonna look so sick. Intercooler just fits. It needs a splitter kit. Yeah, you think so? Maybe like a little splitter kit that we have on like. Similar to what's on the black and yellow 15s. Yeah. But that looks good. That's crazy how it literally just sucks into place. We give it a little more girth going down. Yeah, a little bit. Follows that little subtle body line all the way through. Adam had it on his black giveaway 34 and you couldn't appreciate the kit for what it was. Cut red shells off the body lines. Good thing about OEM bumpers, reuse all your OEM brackets. Oh, we'll squeeze her on.
We're gonna roll the car out so you can actually see the kit. But this is where we were at yesterday and Spoon was making the exhaust. And since it's an OEM bumper, the tip should have came out at the exact same spot. I just but want to be safe. we wanted to be safe. We don't wanna to have to make him go back and redo it just for something that simple. Once we get the bumper on, we'll rate the car up, finish the rest of the exhaust. And then we can look at it. We'll roll it out and start the car with a full exhaust. We're not gonna do an exhaust video and not start the car for you. What'd you just say? I don't wanna say it and get like- <laughs> Oh, come on. In. Yeah, it's it's the truth though. This car is just a Maximum. It's a spicy Maximum. <laughs> it's a spicy ass Max. <laughs> Crucify me, whatever. But I was just taking a look. I had a Maximum. It was one of my first cars. I got Maximum tattooed on my stomach. <laughs> Did anyone notice that the license plate was on a hinge? Yeah, I, I, I just peeped that. Maximus definitely don't have that. <laughs> Bumper location looks different than the OEM yeah, one. Alright, so this is a good call. Yeah. It's all bolts in it and it fits great. Body lines are perfect. Mr. Nissan did that. Hello! Boosty, I'm home! How should we do it? Yeah. <laughs> old, old GDI, old GDI muffler. Angry. Personally, right about there looks good. Just a little bit of tilt centered in the, in the exit. Seems simple, right? No. Is this gonna be the hardest part of the whole exhaust? Probably. Centered with a little bit of tilt is from what I've seen on the internet. Can I show you how I've seen them on the internet? Long pipe coming out about right here. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Question is, end of exhaust is here. Mm. Muffler tip kind of over here. How do you get this to connect and curve? This one will be tricky because by the time the muffler and then the step up ends up, it's going to be right around here. Uh -huh. So I got to... Mm. I, I'm a big fan of 45s. Uh -huh. If I can use 45s everywhere, I would. 45 degree angles, that is. 45 degree bends. Bends. I don't think I'm gonna have the room for that on this one. It goes, it would go that way? Yeah. And then I would have to kick it back straight. But I won't have the room to use two 45s. Probably gonna have to make some pie cuts. Pie cuts had a time in motorsports, and then a lot of people have moved away from pie cuts. Pie cuts work in certain scenarios, but especially when you have tight, very tight places that you need to make a sharp bend. Pie cuts, that's where you want to use pie cuts. So there's still a tool, but like people used to overdo it back in the day. A bunch of little like yeah. slivers yeah. that you yeah. weld together. They literally look like little pies. Huh. Huh. Slices of pie. <laughs> Speaking of pie cuts, that's an example right there. That's a very nice example done by Justin. More fat, the homie, my brother. So this would be like more of like a. This was done tastefully. Like, two thousand, like our early two, like mid two thousands energy. No, like a couple, two three years ago, pie cuts were. I said they're, they're still in when it makes sense. It's just tasteful fashion. Yeah. If you can do it tastefully, go for it. Don't overdo it. You can overdo it quick. Auto fashion with spoon. Luckily, one of the last jobs that I had at my shop was a three and a half inch exhaust with a bunch of pie cuts. Pastry shit. Okay, so step numero uno was we had to have that step down that went from four inches on the muffler. To three and a half inch. To um, three and a half. This muffler didn't come in three and a half inch, so we just stepped it back up to four inch. So if we ever do want to go to full four inch exhaust, we just got to cut this off and redo the whole mid <laughs> To redo everything else. <laughs> in four inch. We can do a crazy tilt and be okay, but I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a real goal. I'm just, don't pay attention to, I'm just trying to figure it out. 
He says that, but I know he's calculating in his head. He's got all the math problems floating around in there. Calvin, I was terrible with math and geometry. You don't do no math with this? This is all just like there trial and error? A, no, there's a formula to like how you make pie cuts and like the degrees you cut it and the spacing in between it. There's so a whole just, science to it. You got to just... Me? I just wing it. Yeah. Okay. Just wing it. And for some reason, it always works out. Mm. <laughs> you said. <laughs> I'd say always. I'd say always. Getting somewhere. The good thing with pie cuts, you can literally twist it and play with it, and it will change the direction in so many different ways. So it's very, it's a very versatile tool. Some people don't like it because it tends to be too much. Some people prefer it. I'm like right in the middle with it. Use it where it's necessary. Use it where it's necessary, but if you can get away with nice, smooth, transitional bends, do it that way. We'll tag it together, and then over the weekend, I'll because it, it is pie cuts, it's gonna take a lot longer to weld. Um, so over the weekend, I'll take my time, weld it up nice. Monday morning, everybody should be back in. Jimmy might be here, maybe question mark, possibly. And then we'll hear it start up full exhaust some good rb noises dude this thing is going to be loud oh yeah but no, i think it's, it. we want yeah. straight pipe full straight pipe just muffler. just a muffler hey turbo is the hey, best muffler. i think it's going to sound great i'm here for it I we were disappointed with the jay-z's yeah exactly with both jay-z's being so quiet we we're disappointed with the fc being so quiet yeah this one's gonna be rowdy all right let's get this thing welded up Alright, no, no, they're okay. Oh, come on, that looks f***ing incredible. They're alright. Damn, already got the hangers and everything done? Yeah, I spent all day Saturday welding this thing up and making the hangers. Oh, okay, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty decent. Lined up perfectly. <laughs> oh, alright. Alright, alright. How's it look on the bumper? Absolutely perfect. So, this means we can start this thing now, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look bad. Even in silver with the red, it doesn't look bad. I can't imagine this all actually paint match. So, from what oh needs a lip or a splitter back? Or it needs a 17, 18 fit. Yeah, staggered setup. Screw on the bottom of this. The thing about OEM arrow, bolts right up. Yo, the silver on the red, I don't hate. Honestly, I don't <laughs> hate. <laughs> <laughs> do we do a two tone, right? Two tone R34. That's not different. Everybody just jumps to the GTR stuff, but this is a good looking kit. I said the front is just missing a lip or a splitter, but the rest of the kit. Monday. Oh my god, look who's back. It's exhausting. Yeah, because there's talking RJ. Oh, yeah. We oh, you, we fit, you fit the arrow? I thought we were going to do that yet. Kinda... Sorry? Wow, on the ground, it looks so sick. Like, do you explain the Altia kit? You I know you explained it. Yeah, a little bit. You got any fun, more fun facts about it for us? I don't know. So the Altia kit, it's like, well, I, pe people import the car with the they, they came on a decent amount of cars. People import these cars, the Altia kit, they don't even care about it, they get rid of them. I've wanted the Altia hit so bad. The fact that they were fine one was insane. And no one styles these kits. I think they could be so hard. Everyone just goes, GTR stuff, GTR stuff. GTR stuff's hard. That's sick. It looks sick with the silver offset. That's what we were just saying. Do we this do a two-tone? <laughs> bro, if we did, you know, um, the 34 and Fast Furious, how it's like the stripe? Going on the side, like yeah. the gradient stripe. That in silver would actually kind of work. It looked 2004 as a in this bitch, but. So either the front needs to go lower and you need to go to 17 in the front. <sighs> this is so nice to There's see. There's one more thing missing we gotta, we can throw on real quick. What, the hood? No, 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 no. We don't, we can save the hood. No. You wanna walk, you wanna walk the hood up? Yeah. Fine, let's walk the hood up. Talking about digging it out of the back. My hoarding comes in handy. I found the rear glass for the uh, 8.6. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering what that Be was. Be careful with that thing. You got that. Ta-da! <laughs> Vented carbon hood. It's not staying carbon. My buddy's down at Faction Motorsports. 
got this hood years ago. I was gonna say, how long has this been sitting back here? And not back here, but just um, it, it was at Faction for years. Cause I don't know, it just ended up in one of their uh, arrow containers because Faction sells arrow, and they couldn't sell it because no one had 34s until like a month ago or a couple months ago, right? I mean, people had them, but you know what I mean. Frank, he sold this to me super cheap because I, I was like, I'm gonna have a 34 one day. I love the confidence in that. <laughs> you like that, right? <laughs> I'll have one one day. It's very Z-Tune-esque, right? You see the Z-Tune hood up there? We're not gonna talk about that. But it's very Z-Tune-esque. It's a good looking hood. Um, and I, it works so well because the Altia kit has like the aggressive ends and stuff like that. But we're gonna paint it um, because I don't really care for exposed, I think exposed carbon is cool when it's all. I think we should leave the vents carbon. The vents. We'll, we'll probably leave in here all carbon. We'll make it tasteful. What we might put on right now and it sucks. We're gonna find out. That's it. The front ends are nothing to blow with it up. This looks like, look how hard this front end looks. What brand is this hood? Saiba. Red accepts carbon so well, but we're, I think it'll be more tasteful when we paint it. But the vented hood's actually really cool for this. We transform my R34. Yeah, that's a good. Point. <laughs> vents on the bumper with the vents on the hood? Different. Well, one of the biggest things we have left on the car actually being able to like run for a long time is the cooling system. I had the PC had a bunch of random stuff for it. Last bit finally showed up Friday. We were waiting on it. It's a cool, cool piece. It was took a little while to get made. It just came out, but we'll show it. Tied up some things, and we should be able to run power steering kit. Power steering kit. We have to install too. Um, so we're we're at the finish line. So say we're about eighty percent there. Yes. Get the kit painted, hood painted, put Seven, the interior 70%, back together. Seventy percent. Coolness system. Sixty-five percent. Power steering system. Sixty percent. No, I'm kidding. We're good. All right, let's shut up. Uh, let's hear the same with the full exhaust. We can't rub it on too much because we still don't have all the cooling in it, but we can hear it. Yeah. It's RB30. Come on. We got to hear it. Is that out of gear? I would assume so. We pushed it forward. Oh, that's not good for you. Let me get my laptop. It needs more. It needs more fuel. Oh, I. You know, it's still on the zoom. All right, one more time. RB30s are so good. It's RBs, dude. If they're good at one thing, it's making noise. Like, we're gonna do a dump for the wastegate. So like, it's I like it. I'm happy. It's nice. Like perfect for a street car. You get on it, you hear it. Four inch downpipe to three and a half, all the way back, all the way back which is great. So we'll have no restriction in it that. Steps up right back to four inch for the muffler because that muffler they come in three and a half. Perfect. And then we have the Artec, big juicy manifold, and uh, the G30 770. A little small. We're gonna see what it does. Finish the cooling system, we'll get this thing actually operating temp, and we'll be able to rip on it and like really hear this thing up to the limiter. Dino. Dino's working. Uh, retune Ant's car this weekend. Yeah, show them that SR grab, cause that's, that's a nice. Good car, dude. Like, just like a nice stock SR grab, like Artec manifold G25 660, like you can't beat that. 340 horsepower, 340 pounds of torque, live there forever because Ant's an asshole and likes to drive like an asshole. So you got to make sure it's a little tamed, but 
Dino's good, everything's good, so nice work. That was nice to come back to, big time. Big week ahead of us, of course. My brain is still mush, I need some sleep, but we got this, so for now, of course, guys, do, do not forget, we have the pre-order for the 80 drop because it sold so freaking quickly. We wanna make sure you guys don't miss out on it. Um, that goes till Thursday, 12.30, so we have the RX-7 shirt and the 8.6 shirt. Both such good designs. So, but that goes to Thursday, of course, hot below, shout out to me, you know, cop a shirt. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. So you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Spoon. Have a great night.